guys welcome back okay so it's that time again it's my annual shop my stash <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah it does seem like it's annual sometimes because i take forever to shop my stash but anywho if you are a regular you already know that i shop my stash like once a month but if you are new welcome my name is camille and welcome to colorful camille's youtube channel i am going to just run through my last shop my stash products i'm only really going to elaborate on the new stuff that i tried because a lot of this stuff i've already used before and i already know that i love it um so yeah i'm just going to talk briefly about the new stuff and run through show you guys what i've been using for the last month tell you if I have any thoughts about anything and then we will go ahead and shop for some new stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my skincare and serums like I always do. So this is my e.l.f. Holy Hydration. This is a face cream. This one has hyaluronic acid and peptide serum. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years and I'll probably never stop using it. This is a um, very, very nice affordable face cream. It's nice and thick and creamy, but it's not super duper heavy. You know what I mean? So really like that. Now I tried a few new things. This is one of them. This is the Tatcha Serum Stick. I got this kind of like little uh, sample pack thing of some Tatcha skincare. And this was one of the things in it. It was a little bit different for me to use this because you know with serums, I'm used to using the liquids and the droppers and stuff, but this is an actual stick. I actually enjoyed, I had a lot of fun rubbing this all over my face and then just kind of blending it in. Felt really nice. It was definitely nicely hydrating, but nothing heavy or overbearing. So I really enjoyed this. Um, let's see here. This Wet n Wild Primer Serum. I think I only use this a couple of times actually. And it's actually really nice for um, a drugstore kind of like primer serum type situation. You know, it's like a two-in-one thing. Very nicely hydrating. I actually really like this. It seems like it kind of has, I don't know, it made it seem like my face had a little bit of a nice dewy glow to it you know prior to me putting on my base product so I did really enjoy that so I like this also I chose my elf blurring primer serum I already know that I love this stuff this one has I don't know maybe about a third of it left and but this was kind of like frustrating me because this dropper thing it gets clogged up so that's kind of annoying when you're trying to get some out because this stuff is fairly thick so yeah it gets clogged up so i kind of had to like turn the bottle over and bang it on my hand to get some out so that was annoying but i like this stuff enough to go ahead and do that <laughs> so when i put it away i'm probably going to put it away upside down just so that when i do open it and use it i can just bang it and get some on my hand but this stuff is fairly thick does give you a nice blur to your skin prior to your base and once again elf product so it's nicely affordable okay let's see here oh this mark jacobs primer this is the undercover blur faction um primer uh, I was really disappointed because I wanted to love this stuff. I really did. There's nothing wrong with this. I love the packaging. It's so cute. There's nothing wrong with this, I don't think, as a primer. I love the way it felt on my skin, um, but it was so weird. You know, it's kind of like that, let's see if you can see that, like clear silicone type situation. So I love the way that feels. I love that feeling on my skin. It's just nice and soft. But this stuff, every time I used it, it's like the oils from my skin just immediately try to escape. It's like I put this stuff on, you know, do my eye look or whatever. I wouldn't even get through my base products and all of my oils from my skin would start like popping up and seeping through and I've never experienced that before. So the first time it happened, I'm like, okay, well maybe it was a moisturizer, maybe it's, you know, foundation, whatever. So I said, I'm gonna try it again. Tried it again, same thing happened. Tried it a third time, same thing happened. So I don't know what it is about this primer in particular because I've used these type of primers before and it doesn't do that. But something about this one, it just makes my oils come to the surface. And of course I don't like that. That's not, <laughs> that's not what I'm 
I'm trying to do. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to, you know, give this to my daughter and see if she likes it or whatever. But, yeah, it didn't work out for me. But I think it's just, I don't know, maybe it's something with my body chemistry. It didn't work for me. So, for setting sprays, I did choose the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This was something that came in that little sample pack as well. Very nice. I don't know if you can see. I have used more than half of this stuff. I love this stuff. It's so nice. Gives my makeup look a nice, dewy, healthy glow. And I like it. So, yeah, I'm going to probably end up buying a large one of this because I like it a lot. And then this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist. I didn't get to use this as much because, you know, I was going crazy with the Tatcha. But I like this stuff as well. It definitely made my face feel nice and hydrated. You know, after you put your makeup on, sometimes, you know, you powder up and your face feels a little dry. When I sprayed this on, it was like instant hydration came back. So I like this a lot. I might actually use this for my next go around shop my stash because I want to get more use out of this one because I do like it as well. Okay, so let's move on to complexion. Let's start off with these foundations. I wanted to go with kind of like more skin tint, dewy type foundations um, for my last shot my stash. So I chose this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing, um, you know, tinted moisturizer. I love this stuff. Honestly, I feel like this really is one of my favorite if not my favorite like skin tint tinted moisturizer type situation i don't know what it is but this stuff is perfect for me it has my complexion looking flawless and i love it this is the deep dark 21w you know you just find products that just work well for you this is one that i will if i just want a nice beautiful complexion not too heavy run out for the day i'm grabbing this because i like it a lot Next, I pulled this, um, the lip bar, just a tint. I purchased this, you know, because Andrea Renee loved it. She did her video talking about different skin tints and tinted moisturizers and, you know, figuring out which is the best. This one, this one has SPF 11, which is not a lot, but this didn't work for me. It did not work for me. Um... I think it's more so the shade, quite honestly, the shade, the tint, because I didn't have a problem with the finish. I didn't have a problem with the wear, but when I put this on, honey, when I tell you I looked casket ready, I looked casket ready. It was like, this undertone does not work for me. This one is honey dip, and I thought for sure this would be my shade, but it's just a little too cool toned for me, and yeah. Every time I put it on, I was like, uh-uh, honey. I would look in the mirror. You know how you go out in the sunlight or, you know, different lighting and look in the mirror. Ooh, uh-uh. I had to basically cover my face with powder, bronzer, and all kind of stuff just to make it work. And it's like when you're using a skin tint or something like that, that defeats the purpose if you got to, you know, pile a whole bunch of other makeup on because you want a more lightweight situation. So... This is not a bad product at all. It just wasn't the right shade for me, and I don't want to try another shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if somebody else can get use out of this. And then lastly, for foundations, I pulled my NYX Born to Glow. This one is Cappuccino. I love this stuff. Have loved it ever since I first tried it. I, it's, I can never go wrong with this. Beautiful dewy finish. Beautiful shade for me. I love it. It's perfect. Okay, the concealers that I chose. I chose the concealers that were the same brand as the foundations that I chose. You know, I kind of wanted to do that, even though I use different concealers with different foundations, you know, because I'm a weirdo like that. But this lip bar concealer, I really like it. Um, nothing wrong with it. I like to blend out my concealer with a sponge. So, you know, when you do that, it can kind of take away from the coverage. This one, it did that for sure. <laughs> That's the only thing that I didn't really care about was when I put it on. It looks like a really nice, beautiful shade. Which shade is this? Cinnamon 4. Um, Very, very nice. So if you don't need, you know, that serious, serious coverage for like dark circles and stuff like I do, 
this is very very nice but when I use a sponge it does kind of thin out so I kind of have to use a brush with this just to make sure I hold the coverage but other than that very nice concealer next I have here my ColourPop pretty fresh this one I have two shades in this this one is dark 175 in love this stuff I don't know what it is about the ColourPop uh, pretty fresh I love it I really do and I wouldn't think that I would because I pretty much you know I'm a full coverage like give me the coverage honey but these products very nice I love them I love this one for sure as well it just looks really good on me so I enjoyed this and then the NYX Born to Glow like I said this one I really really love because the coverage is there whether I use a sponge whether I use a brush I keep my coverage whenever I use this so really really like this uh, what shade do I have warm caramel so yeah just in case you're checking shades for my skin tone this is warm caramel and I love it okay so let's go ahead and move on to the other items that I used this past month um let's just start out with what's in front here so these are bronzers I believe this is my Charlotte Tilbury um airbrush bronzer I have the shade four this is definitely one of my favorites love this bronzer you guys it's amazing it's pricey but I do not reg regret buying this it's gorgeous this one here is my lip bar bronzer blush duo situation I have double date and so I've showed this before many times very very gorgeous bronzer you have to be careful with this though honey because if you go in too hard too fast yeah you can look like somebody socked you so you just got to be gentle with this the blush uh funny enough i didn't really use the blush because i had too many other blushes to use but this blush is gorgeous if you like a beautiful glowy blush in this color perfect for summer perfect for this time of year so love this uh, let's see this is a highlighter so I think I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my highlighters this is a Marc Jacobs highlighter at ah, inject girl listen look at the packaging so cute and then this is what it looks like I love this highlighter because it has like a peachy tone to it I don't know if you can see that but yeah it has this beautiful peachy glow and this looks amazing on my skin tone so always love when I use this this Too Faced highlighter, it was actually quite nice. This is actually a bronzer, you know, but for my skin tone, this is a highlighter. But this is really, really nice. It looked gorgeous on my skin. I really enjoyed using this as a highlighter, so I will definitely look forward to pulling this again in the future. Okay, so next I have this Dior Backstage highlighter. This one is um, it's actually a glow face palette, but it's in copper gold oh listen i love this <laughs> i love this face palette i'm not gonna gush over it but oh my goodness it just looks so smooth and silky on the skin it's absolutely gorgeous i love it i'm gonna go ahead and move over to blush since this one is kind of like a blush slash highlighter situation this is a revolution pro blush and glow i mean you can see here it is <laughs> is beat up because your girl loves it oh my gosh one of my favorite blush highlighter combo situations it's so gorgeous this highlighter well for me it's a highlighter but it's like a glowy blush it is so beautiful it just it's like that glow with that beautiful little hint of color in there i don't know if you can see that this blush is beautiful i i haven't really tried this i think maybe once but i'm in love with these two for sure gorgeous and then i also um used my color pop this is one of their new uh, cheek palettes this one is in the shade sweet roll so i don't know if this this is probably the darkest one i'm sure because it's pretty deep gorgeous i love everything in here the blush the highlighter and the bronzer it works perfectly for me looks very very nice so yeah i love this now this blush i think this is the only blush that i actually did not get around to using because <laughs> every time i pulled it to use i end up using something else so this is from xx revolution in the shade jitter but it's not because i don't think it's a beautiful shade or a beautiful blush i just never got around to using it but it's gorgeous i'm sure i will use it definitely in the future 
this is my new Pat McGrath blush. Um, what shade is this? Electric Bloom. Okay. So let's see if I can open this. These are so freaking hard to open. It's so annoying. Okay. So this is what she looks like. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't even have to like <laughs> sell it because if you have this, you already know. But this color looks amazing and I love it to death. Love it. And then lastly for blush, I have this Patrick Ta for face. This one is in She's That Girl. I had this like put to the side for so long needing to use it and just never got around to it. Yo, listen, this blush shocked the heck out of me because honestly, I was thinking, I was like, oh, it's a little light. It's a little light. She's a little light. But girl, when I put this mug on, listen, that was like one of the most gorgeous blush days I have ever had in my life. And I'm not even kidding. You guys know I love blush. I'm like a blush freak. This blush, oh, I might have to keep this for another round or just keep it next to me, close to me, because it is so gorgeous. And I didn't even use the cream, which is not like me because I love cream blush. But I just went in with this and Lord have mercy. I felt so beautiful that day, you guys. I love it. So this is beautiful. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Okay, face powders. <clears throat> These two I've used for forever and ever. Love them to death. This one here is my um, CoverGirl Full Spectrum. This is actually a powder foundation love it it looks really nice on me it's beautiful it works well this one is deep neutral too this l'oreal infallible pro matte is this a foundation too i don't know but anyway it's in golden beige this stuff under my eyes amazing i like to use it with a brush you know one of the pointed brushes because i can just get in there under my eye set it and it works amazing i think i found out about this from savannah silver she was using this one time talking about how she loved it i bought it i was like girl you ain't never lied this stuff works amazing under the eyes i love it okay now listen <laughs> Listen, I got these two expensive freaking powders. This Gucci, this Dior. Honey, when I tell you I will never buy an expensive face powder ever again, I am not playing. I won't do it. I know there is nothing wrong with these powders, but when I use these powders, I feel like nothing is happening. This one is Matte Neutral 12 from Gucci. Beautiful powder beautiful looks like it has like a gorgeous silky type finish or whatever but when i use this powder i don't feel like it's doing anything to my face anything to my makeup i feel like i'm just going through the motions you know putting powder on and nothing's happening so yeah i'm not getting rid of it of course honey because it would this is probably about a hundred dollars in my hand right here <laughs> but listen i don't know maybe as a finishing powder maybe but i don't really use finishing powder so anyway yeah i won't be doing that again and then i have this dior is this the powder no powder yeah dior backstage face and body powder no powder and honey when i tell you powder no powder yeah it ain't no powder <laughs> it's gorgeous but when i use it ugh, nothing you know when i put stuff on my face i need to feel like it's doing something i need to see it so yeah maybe this is another like powder finishing powder or whatever for me but like i said i don't use finishing powder so it's kind of annoying because it, it wasn't cheap okay <laughs> and then lastly these are the lashes that i have used i used another lash too but i think i threw it away because it really wasn't a good shape for my eyes but these profusion iconic lashes these are in the, sh the style old oh darling i got these on sale so they might not even have them anymore i love these very natural look 
easy to apply and they go beautifully with eye looks you know if you want something not too dramatic love these and then the sephora aquamarines i've been using these you know you can see they look a little crazy but i've been using these love 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 them i went to buy some more and they were sold out so i had to buy the other styles and i like those as well so it's all good but those are the lashes okay you guys so let's quickly talk about the palettes that i used um over the last month or so my favorite part of course <laughs> but let's just start with this latest one that i used this one is the ColourPop lush life oh look at that packaging honey isn't it gorgeous yes it's so pretty anywho <laughs> so this is what it looks like beautiful beautiful color pop palette um typical color pop formula what i will say about the beautiful deep dark shades like on the bottom a lot of kick up a lot of kick up um a lot of kick up <laughs> okay so but the pigmentation is there so it's beautiful i loved it i really had fun using this i got the whole like little collection with the serum cheek tints not quite sure how i feel about those yet i'm gonna have to use them more because they are super duper sheer okay and y'all know i love a serious blush but yeah beautiful beautiful palette had fun using it next i have here these baroque and ornate palettes from ColourPop. i did combine these to uh create a look i yes i did a quick little ghetto video using this and i say it was ghetto because i filmed it not with the intention of um how can i say doing a youtube video i was filming it really for instagram but i decided to go ahead and edit it for youtube so honey it was it was okay but all kind of stuff was missing so anyway <laughs> i used these two palettes this one is the baroque i know you guys are familiar with it so so pretty nice deep dark smoky and this one is the ornate with the kind of reddish you know golden tone in there so really pretty and i did combine with these one of my stila liquid eyeshadows let me see yeah it was this one here it's called mint myth this one oh my gosh so so gorgeous let me see if i can get that to focus yeah so so freaking gorgeous okay really pretty okay so next i have here the midas cosmetics um times the basic b perception palette this is um one of their newest releases this palette is gorgeous you guys it is it's so pretty so colorful very nicely pigmented and the shimmers are here surprising very surprising beautiful i really really enjoyed using this like i said nicely pigmented and i really like this color story so next i have my girl dj's our favorite things palette this is from one of my besties dj she has dj's unique boutique definitely check her out i have the link in my description box because i do have an affiliated discount code if you want to try any of her amazing products my palette is kind of beat up a little crazy looking but <laughs> this is what the palette looks like i just wanted to have fun one day so i created like this super crazy bold rainbow eye look as you can see and i just have fun i like doing that sometimes and this is the perfect palette for that okay super pigmented beautiful shades shimmers mattes gorgeous if you are looking for just an amazing rainbow palette this one is perfect for that okay so next here i have my elf mint melt palettes now i did go ahead and combine these two palettes because i used you know some of the lighter shades and then i used this darker one here to deepen up my eye look now these palettes very pretty very nice but i wasn't really sure about this one this shade here i wanted to use on my lid but i didn't really trust it <laughs> so i did go ahead and play with one of my bases from beauty creations this is one of their color bases that they just came out with not too long ago this one is fresh aqua and this worked perfectly with these palettes you know in combination to kind of you know make sure that my lid stayed nicely pigmented and so yeah 
I enjoyed using this. It actually worked out very, very nicely. Nicely pigmented, easy to use, and you only need the tiniest amount with these bases, okay? So very, very nice. Okay, next I did use the Sweet Shop Bubblegum Palette from BH Cosmetics. <laughs> this palette is bomb, okay? <laughs> That's all I can say. It is so bomb. I'm so happy I have these palettes in my collection. I want to use the green one next. I think I'm pulling that for my next shot, my stash, but honey, oh my goodness gorgeous so i did use this palette i created just a basic very basic simple um matte eye look i wanted to use the shimmer so bad but i was like you know what i haven't done a matte monochromatic look in a while so that's what i did so i just used like these two shades right here for that look and then i also went in for this which honestly i really didn't need to but i wanted to try out one of these handayan eyeshadow bases that i got from uh, Amazon a while ago if you saw that haul this is one of those bases and these bases work really nice as well very very nice but these are how can I say not as matte I think as a beauty creations ones and maybe not quite as pigmented even though these are very pigmented the beauty creation ones go down nice they blend out nice and matte and they're you know very pigmented these are pigmented but just not when you blend them out I felt like it was not as deep and dark and pigmented as the beauty creation so anyways that's enough on that okay so next here I have this Cara Beauty orange pop palette woke up one day and just wanted to do an orange look so this is the palette that I pulled Oh, this palette is beautiful and it's like super pigmented too. Super duper pigmented. Very, very pretty. Um, so I created this kind of like orange and gold type look for Instagram using this. And for my lid, I went in with um some of my pigments and little like cream, you know, pots. So this one is from Faux Era. I actually got this one from AliExpress like years ago. Just a really pretty, beautiful gold loose pigment. And then this one here is one of the Jello Shot Jelly Eyeshadows from Amoras. They have like these different colors. This one is like an orange metallic. I don't know if you can see that. And it. It's nice and creamy, you know, easy to apply, but it cracked. So yeah, it cracked on my eyelid once it dried. I mean, I have hooded eyes and wrinkled eyelids. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not really surprised about that, but I just feel like I don't know how to alleviate that. You know, I put down a base, a primer, all that stuff, but yeah, it cracked and I didn't like that. So I don't know. I'm going to try some different ways to try to alleviate the cracking for this okay so i did uh use one of my pat mcgraths I, I did not pull these palettes that often i do not use these palettes that often i don't know why but i just don't so this one is the Motorship five which is the bronze what is it bronze seduction or something like that yeah bronze seduction so i did do a look using this palette here very, very pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, for Pat McGrath, I'm really, you know, going for like her beautiful shimmers and stuff like that. So, of course, I went in with these. But what I did for this look is, you know, I needed a black because I wanted it to be really just a totally dark black base, smoked out wing. So, before I went in with the shimmers from this palette, I did go in with my dose of colors smoky soiree and i grabbed the black out of here you know which is right here i grabbed that black just so that i could do like a winged out smoky and liner type situation and then i went in with one of my beauty creations little black gel cream pots place that on my lid in the shape that I wanted it to be and then I just tapped these shimmers on top of that so that's how I created the look for this and I really 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 liked it <laughs> and I have to say these beauty creations gel pots very nicely pigmented and it lasted all day so 
I really like the gel pots. I like all of these, actually. The Beauty Creations, that whole little set. Because I like the liners. I like the gel pots. I like the little cream bases in the tube. That whole thing. Very nice. Okay, next, I did go ahead and use this Nomad Cosmetics America's Parks palette. Um, they came out with this palette. This is their latest one. Super duper cute. Look at that. I actually did two looks with this. I did one like colorful crazy type look. And then I did another look with just kind of using the warm like burgundy and orange or purple and orange in here. Very, very pretty. So this is what this palette looks like. It's really gorgeous, you guys. Performs nicely, nicely pigmented. The shimmers in here very very nice and unique i like them they're really pretty so i used that and then lastly <laughs> i used the new abh norvina volume 5 i went ahead and grabbed this when i saw it i was like child i am buying that <laughs> so i grabbed this it's so gorgeous I actually i did a video on this i did i did one of the few videos that i did last month but Y'all, listen, listen. This palette is gorgeous. I need to do at least three more looks with this because it's so gorgeous. But yeah, so I just did a quick little purple look just to kind of get my feet wet with it. Absolutely loved it. And so, yeah, I plan on playing with this even more. Okay, you guys, so now that we have completed talking about last month's Shop My Stash, let's go ahead and pick some items. Now that I am going to be <laughs> shopping my stash basically twice a month, so every two weeks instead of once a month, I'm going to pick less stuff. So for moisturizer, um, I kind of want to use something I haven't used in a while that I really, really like. Let me move this table out of the way. Um, hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Juno & Co. Cause I have not used my Juno & Co. moisturizer in a long time. And this stuff is super duper nice. So yeah, I need to go ahead and use this. So I'm going to pull this, the Miracle Cream. And for primer, okay, I think, I th am I going to choose one primer, you guys, or two? I really want to use my Milk Makeup, honestly, because this is just a little sample size. It's halfway done, so maybe I could finish this up. So let me go ahead and pull this Milk Makeup. This one is the Hydro Grip, so I'm going to pull this. Um... I really should just use one primer. I'm gonna pull one primer, you guys, just one. Okay, so let's see, serum, serum. Oh, this is easy because I have not used this Biro tomato serum in forever. I fell in love with this when <laughs> my girl sent this to me. Thank you, Lily. I ended up buying two more. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this because I love it and I haven't used this in ages you guys but I know I love it so let's pull that um what else setting spray I'm not gonna pull a new setting spray because I am definitely going to keep using the color pop what is it the pretty fresh one so yeah I'm gonna keep using that okay foundation I have to choose two foundations, you guys. I can never just choose one. Even for two weeks, I need two foundations, okay? That's just that's just your girl. Uh, I need to start actually trying to figure out which ones I can declutter, honestly, anyway. So, ooh, you know what? Double wear. Estee Lauder double wear. I definitely haven't used this in a very long time. This stuff is bomb, but you know what? I need to make sure that I actually still feel like this is bomb because people talk about it all the time and how wonderful it is. And when I used it, I kind of felt like, mm, yeah, it's nice, but <laughs> so I have, what is that? Is that 6W1 Sandalwood? Yeah, 6W1 Sandalwood. So I'm going to pull this and check it out. And do we want to pull a drugstore? You know what? I have not used this CoverGirl True Blend in quite a while. 
I have the shade D15. Let me go ahead and pull this and play with this and see how I feel about it. See if I still love it. Okay, that was quick and easy. Let's um let's choose a concealer. Mm, I really, really need to um find the correct shade in the born this way concealer because this concealer is bomb but i have one is too light and i have one is too dark <laughs> so it's like i can't really use, i mean i guess i can mix them together but child who got time for that so uh tart mm, you know it's like when it comes to concealers i'm like really really picky this JCAT concealer is decent, actually. But you know what? I have not used my L'Oreal in a long time because it's always on the bottom chilling. Um, I don't know why I have two shades. But you know what? I'm going to pull... I'll pull both of these and see which one works best for me. But yeah, I'll go ahead and pull these. I haven't used these in a long time. And I know that I like these, I think. So let's pull these. Now, I didn't really talk about mascara because I'm currently using my Thrive Cosmetics cosmetics <laughs> cosmetics mascara and i kind of want to go ahead and just finish using that i have i need to do a declutter you guys because i have so many freaking mascaras and i know some of these i need to get rid of either i don't like them or you know they're old or whatever so i'm gonna have to do a mascara declutter so i think i'm going to chill even though i really want to try this mark jacobs i'm gonna chill and just keep using my thrive cosmetics for now um and we'll pick a new mascara in two weeks okay you guys so the hardest part for me is always highlighter and blush so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my drawers, sit down, and we can make a decision together because, yeah, it, it's a lot. So, okay, you guys. So like I said, highlighter and blush is like so hard for me. Oh my goodness, it's hard. So I'm, listen, I don't know what I'm going to do because I told myself I can only pick two. I'm only picking two highlighters, two blushes because, you know, like I need to chill, but it's so hard. Look at this. This one is the Revolution Tasty Apple. I haven't used this in a oh my lord. Look how gorgeous. Oh, okay, this is this is a strong, strong maybe. Um, I was just looking at this ABH Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. Beautiful, gorgeous. I'm mm, not sure though. Eh, maybe not. Hmm. Let me put this apple over here. Okay, this one is Frequency from XX Revolution. It seems like I just pulled this, though. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Gorgeous. Mm. This is another Revolution Pro. This one is Golden Glare. Let's see if I can open it. Now this. Oh, beautiful. Now this from Juvia's Place, this Heroin Glow 1, I don't even think I've used this. It's like a little, you know, a little brick. That's pretty, but do I like that? Ooh. Okay, okay. I haven't tried this. I think I need to. I need to use this. So I'm going to pull this one. So this is one. Let me see how similar this apple is. I don't want two that are exactly alike. Um, okay, so the apple is a little bit different. A little bit. Um, okay, let me just check out a few more. This one is super gold. This one is from Beauty Bay Trophy. So yeah, I'm not gonna pull that. This is Give Me Glow Sunset Glow. That has kind of like that peachiness to it. Mm. Ooh. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> ah! Who made up this rule that I could only pick two? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is cute. This is revolution. 
cheek kit and don't hold back. Okay, 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 get it together. This one, Glow and Bronze Powder from Kiss. Oh, I know I love this. Y'all see, I have this all the way beat up. Look at this. This here, Golden Bronze. Oh, that gives me glow. It's just driving me crazy with that peachy tone in there. Oh, Y'all, I'm picking three. I don't care. I'm picking three. I'm not even going to look no more. I'm taking the Give Me Glow Sunset Glow. This one, yeah, I'm taking that. I'm taking the Kiss Glow and Bronze. And I'm going to use the Juvia's Heroin Glow one. Okay, so I'm taking three. I don't care. Y'all can judge me. I'm picking three. Okay, you guys, it's time to pick a blush. And blush is even harder than highlight for me. Okay, listen. <sighs> but I have to keep reminding myself it's only for two weeks. It's only for two weeks. <laughs> okay uh, I haven't used my rare beauty in a while this is in love this is really really pretty you guys mm, I just used my Moira blushes so I'm not gonna pick any Moira's because I just used those dang I haven't used my elf blushes in quite a while this one is gorgeous has like a little glow to it child I cannot read that honey radiant peach look how pretty that is radiant peach is gorgeous but i'm not gonna pull that not now um oh cover girl definitely have i ever used this and that color is perfect for summer this is hot oh hot frenzy <laughs> hot frenzy wait hold on oh okay okay um yes that color is like one of my favorites okay i'm pulling that that was easy i have these cream blushes you know cream is all the rage right now this is pretty from milani what is this cheek kiss in blushing berry okay let me see oh okay oh that's pretty Okay, it's a little variety, little variety. Okay, so I will take that. Um, I know I need to chill out. This is a revolution. This is a powder. Rose Kiss. Oh, I'm running out of fingers. Let me see. Okay, so that's kind of, that's pretty, a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. Mm, that's a maybe. Mm, what do I have over here? cover effects this one is spiced cinnamon yeah this one is really really nice very very beautiful for you know all skin tones really gorgeous mm, and it has this little like um you know shiny topper as well that's a maybe what is this this is a focal lore in the shade 04 oh beautiful kind of like a lighter burnt orange type of situation and these are pretty but i'm not in the mood for that so that's gonna be a no this is seraphina from is this juvia's yeah juvia's place seraphina that's pretty i don't know if i've ever used that oh that is really light and very pretty though now i'm gonna pass on that okay i think i'm gonna pull these two and then i'm gonna pull this is cute mm, but i think i'm gonna pull a palette let me look at some palettes this is a revolution roxy palette i've had this forever and have not used this uh, some gorgeous shades in here this just says summer to me honestly i would just take my brush and just swirl it like in all four of these right here <laughs> just put it on my face that's really pretty um let me see oh you see that yes yes and more yes okay i'm pulling this okay that's it you guys i know it's a lot but like don't judge me okay so i got three blushes three blushes in a palette okay that's it that's all i'm doing okay you guys so now i need to pick my face powders and my bronzer so let's go with bronzer first I think I want to do like a cream and then a powder and maybe a face palette. I know, is that too much? Whatever, I ain't tripping. Okay, so 
Um, I do want to try this Danessa Myricks bronzer. I just got this, and so I really want to try it. This is deep, okay, and I really want to try it. It's it's so pretty. Look at that. But I don't know. Honestly, this don't look like it's going to be deep enough for me. But, you know, you never know until you try it. Because that looks like a real caramelicious brown, you know? Let me see. Can you see that? So, I don't know. We going to see, though, because I'm going to try this. This is a cream, so I'm going to try this. But I want to pull a powder as well. Um, These Revolution. I haven't used these in a while, and these are really, really good. I have two. I have a darker one, and I have a nice, rich... Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, okay, I'll hold on. Hold on, what is this? This is actually a face powder, I think. Who is this? This is, y'all know I can't see, Jouet. Yeah, I bought this, I used this not too long ago. It's a face powder, but it's a gorgeous bronzer because it's so deep. I used this recently, so I'm not gonna use that again. Oh, Beauty Bay. I remember I got these two, these two. I don't know if I've tried them or not. This one is Chestnut, Chestnut, gorgeous, Beauty Bay, you know, more affordable, but their products are really, really nice. So I got Chestnut and then this one is Button. So it's a little bit deeper, but mm, do I wanna, do I wanna, dang it. You know what, let me go ahead and try chestnut because I don't remember trying these. I'm gonna pull chestnut and see if I like it. So I'm gonna pull chestnut. Y'all, ooh, this one, this one, dang, I wanna use this so bad. This is the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Bronzer in Dark. Child, I might end up pulling because I wanna pull a palette too. This is Ace Beauty Bronzed in Paradise. Honey, this looks like I need to give this to my daughter. My daughter is lighter than me. I'll probably wind up giving that away. That's too light. This is from Alamar. Brighten and Bronze, Dark Rich. Have I used this? Look at this. Uh, pure, Dark Deep got this in boxy oh i remember this this is nice you guys this is nice yes i'm gonna pull this okay because i'm cheating because it's gonna give me a bronzer a blush and a highlight child <laughs> okay i'm pulling this i'm pulling this from revolution i'm trying this i'm gonna try this and i'm pulling this danessa myricks too i know it's only two weeks but Y'all know I like to try a lot of stuff, okay? So I'm pulling these four, okay? Don't judge me, I'm pulling these four. Okay, so let me go ahead and pick face powders um, to use. I think I wanna do the J-Cat Aqua Assurance because I love this stuff and I haven't used it for a long time. I've been using other things. But I kind of want to just use something that I know that I like and kind of get more use out of it. So I'm going to use this one. I have the shade Espresso. So I'm going to pull this to set my face. And then for under my eyes, I think I'm going to go with a loose powder. Ugh, I'm kind of scared to try this Tatcha Silk Powder. I hear good things about it, but, you know, under eyes are very personal. You know what I mean? And I don't know. If I see any little bit of like white cast or anything, I'm not gonna be happy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it to try it out, you know, because it's supposed to be a radiant translucent setting powder. I'm gonna pull this to try it out, but if I don't like it, mm, I'm gonna pull something else to try too, just in case I don't like it. This Prime Beauty uh, Loose Setting Powder, yo. This is the Golden Gal, Golden Gal. This stuff, oh, I love it, love it, love it. This stuff is so bomb, you guys. I use it under my eyes, it's so bomb. <laughs> um, you guys know I always love my DJ's Unique Boutique. P. 
Peach Perfect from Too Faced. Have I tried this? Translucent Caramelized Peach. For some reason, I'm feeling like I didn't really care for this, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to pull this, try this again, and if I don't like it, I'm going to declutter it because um, I don't remember. So I'm going to pull this for under my eyes. I'm going to pull the Tatcha for under my eyes, and then I'm going to use the Aqua Assurance for setting my face, and that's it. Okay, you guys, and lastly, let's quickly go through the palettes and eye products that I chose for the upcoming next two weeks. I pulled this House Laboratories Stupid Love Palette. This is the, um, what is her name? Lady Gaga, her brand. And I don't know, I feel like I've pulled this palette before, but unless I'm in the mood to do a blue look <laughs> using this, it just, it doesn't get used, but I really do want to try this formula for myself and check it out. So I pulled this. I also pulled another one of my Unique Beauty um, little miniature palettes. This is volume one, pressed pigment. And these colors, I'm not really one for red eyeshadow, but I am dying to create an eye look using this shadow with those shimmers. Listen, I know that looks like a glitter, honey. That is not a glitter, <laughs> okay? That is a shimmer. So yeah, it's just like, ciao. I do, I wanna put that on my lid with a nice pretty base under there. It's so pretty. This, oh my goodness. Did you see that? <gasps> Lord have mercy. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> I am pulling this. Okay, I also pulled the BH Cosmetics Pistachio Palette. I used the blue one. Now I need to use the green one. Ugh, this is gorgeous. This time I think I'm gonna go ahead and use these shimmers. It is so pretty. I did a video swatching all of these palettes if you're curious. I know they're not available anymore, but you know, somebody might be selling them on one of the you know makeup websites or something like Macari or something if you're looking for them but it's this I'm dying to use this okay next I pulled this Eben New York palette I bought these a long time ago and just have never used them this is the secret of feral press pigment palette these palettes are super affordable um, I bought them off of their website I know they sell them in like beauty supply stores and stuff I first came to know this brand from their lashes so I fell in love with some of their lashes from the beauty supply went on their website to order some more and saw that they have you know other makeup items so I'm gonna try this I'm not expecting too much because it is you know like a more affordable uh, brand but you never know it might surprise me okay i also pulled the tribe by juvia's an old faithful favorite gorgeous palette haven't used this in quite a while and i kind of want to play with this so yeah i pulled this next i pulled the be perfect dream big manifest palette <laughs> yeah this palette ugh, look at that color story so many beautiful like rich deep dark tones gorgeous shimmers in here yeah this palette is one where i'm probably going to sit down and really have to think about what i want to do because there's so many colors in here but it's gorgeous so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and play with that and it might seem like i picked a lot of palettes for the next two weeks but i really want to be more active i've tried to be more active on instagram and so if I do like, you know, five looks a week, then I can really, you know, get through these palettes. So now I also pulled the Give Me Glow Vivid Rose. I haven't used this one yet. I did swatch it, comparing it to the Clarity palette, you know, that beautiful berry palette they came out with. But I haven't actually used this yet. So I do want to use it and see what... Um, this palette has to offer. I do like Gimme Glow's formula, so we'll see how it goes, but very, very pretty. Now, I also pulled <laughs> this gigantic palette here. I don't even think it's gonna fit in this whole, you know, screen, but this is the Laroc, L-A-R-O-C Pro Artistry Book. I've had this for quite a while, actually. I bought this, I couldn't resist. You guys know I love color, so you shouldn't be surprised. But I bought this 
gigantic monster of a palette because I was curious about their formula. Haven't tried it yet, so we're going to go ahead and try this out and see how I like it. I did get this on sale because I didn't purchase it when it first came out because I was like, mm -mm, I don't know about that formula and it was kind of expensive. So I caught it like on a half price sale and I had a discount code. So I got a really good deal on this palette. And then lastly for palettes, I did choose my P. Louise Worldy. I haven't used this since I tried it out and did the video on it. You know, because of the fact that these palettes are so freaking huge, I tend to put them, you know, like on a different shelf where I don't really think about reaching for them. But yeah, I was like, you know what? I just ordered the, all I see is, honey I don't know I can't remember the name but I bought their last palette <laughs> I was watching um, my girl Leora use it and I was like oh my gosh I have to get that palette so yeah I went ahead and ordered it and it made me think of this palette so I pulled this one to use as well this palette is so pretty I love the beautiful jewel tone so yeah I got that now the non palette items that I pulled um, to play with. I have these shadows from Pretties For Your Face. Not that familiar with them. They're an indie brand. Um, I purchased some of these singles to try them out. Very, very gorgeous. They seem like they're more on the kind of like shimmery, glittery type side. So I want to play with some of these on my lid. I also pulled this here. You guys know I like to pull some of my singles <laughs> to give me like I need more options, right? These are actually all of my Kaleidos palettes in one little, you know, palette here. I took them all out of their individual palettes and so they're just in rows here. So these are all the little six pan palettes that I have from Kaleidos and I just put them in here so I can choose shadows <laughs> however I want without having to open up all those little small palettes. So yeah, I pulled this to kind of play around with and have fun. And then, you know, I never, ever think about using my Super Shock shadows. So I went ahead and pulled some so that I can remember to use them, okay, before they all dry out. Now this one here is called Main Attraction. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, I pulled that. I also pulled this one here, which is, this is one of my older ones. This is called Frisky. And you know, I feel like, so it's just kind of like a smoked out dark black gray with like shimmers in it so pretty but I feel like even if these do kind of dry out what is this this one is a millennium that maybe I can add a little bit of Duraline in them and still use them y'all let me know because when they dry out I tend to just toss them but I feel like if I add a little bit of a mixing medium that I can make them last even longer. So this one is called Ice Dream. Gorgeous. It has kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but I really see this as like a topper or like an inner corner pop. Gorgeous, isn't it? So I pulled that. And then lastly, I pulled this one. This one is actually from Ace Beauté. I got this in one of my uh, subscription boxes. This one is called French Vanilla. So this is another one that I probably, you know, pop in my inner corner. This one is um, a little more like just a silver, you know, but definitely a great inner corner pop shade for like cool tone eye looks. So got that. And then I also wanted to play with some of my little um, flaky pigments from Kaima Cosmetics. You know, these can be a little messy, a little tricky if you're not careful, but oh my gosh, they're so, so freaking gorgeous. And you know, you just kind of use either a mixing medium or like a glitter primer or base to play with these. Let me just kind of, I'll try not to make a mess, too much of a mess but I just wanna kinda of show you a little bit of how these uh, flakes act. So it's like, 
I don't know if you can see that there, but that is what they look like. Okay, so I'm just going to place a little bit of glitter primer on my hand. That was more than I needed, <laughs> but I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter primer on my hand, as you can see there. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the flakes out of the jar and just kind of tap those on top of that glitter primer. I'm trying not to use too much. I don't want to waste them all, but you see that? <laughs> Do you see that? Okay, like what? Yeah, so that is what these little flakes look like when you place them on top of like a glitter primer. And it's funny because on the camera, it looks green. But when I look at it, it looks blue and purple. Crazy. Let me see if I can make you guys see the blue and purple. Okay, so I got my little uh, ColourPop <laughs> mirror here. Do you guys see that? Do you see how over here, for me, it is like blue and purple and then it goes green? Look at that. Uh, it's so hard to capture because it really wants to turn green for you guys, but for me, over here it is blue and purple let me see okay so now you can see the purple you see that blue a little bit you can see that blue and purple Child. and then you see that green you guys are seeing green I'm seeing blue and purple okay so <laughs> yeah these flakes I'm about to put these mugs on my eyes it's so pretty Okay guys, so these are all my Shop My Stash items for the next two weeks. I promise I am going to get it together and do two weeks. <laughs> and I've gotta put all this stuff away, but I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to choose all of my stuff. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm really excited about the complexion, I think even more so than the eyes, but Hopefully I can have a lot of fun using these um, shadows and palettes. So anywho, that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!